everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Melissa um, today we are going to talk about some books I've recently read well, I am stuck indoors because it is very snowy and very cold here um, we are currently getting a winter storm oh yep this is typical North Dakota weather it goes from fallish to winter right away but anyway so since I thought I was cooped up I take advantage of this time and film a couple of videos so I have seven books here that I have recently read and I have not really talked about yet and I really should um, while I'm still thinking about them I suppose so I got seven books here to talk about and I'm also going to share with you the one book I am kind of currently reading right now. Um, it's kind of like a very important book that I need to read. And I am kind of in between a couple of other books. And I just haven't really like figured out what I'm in the mood to read. I don't know. I'm in a really weird mood to be honest with you guys. Um, but as always, we'll start with my wrap up first. So the first book, I don't believe I actually wrapped this one up. This is Suspicious Minds by Gwendolyn, Gwenda Bond. I think it's how you say it. Um, this is a Stranger Things novel and this takes place um, before Eleven. It kind of follows Eleven, Eleven's mom. And um, I found the story to be okay. Honestly, it really wasn't like that great. Um, I actually listened to this on audiobook and although the narr narrator was fine she I mean she did a very good job I found it kind of boring because nothing really happened until right at the end and then it was like boom it's like so it was a lot of building of a story that I really didn't think that really needed divulged a lot um, I don't know if that's the right word. I, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Words are eluding me tonight. But it was okay. I don't really think I learned anything new about the Stranger Things world, to be honest with you. Um, so it this one definitely is not my favorite. And I'm actually going to unhaul it because I just don't think I'm ever going to read it again. And... I didn't really care for it that much. I mean, it was an okay book, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, I gave this one three stars, I believe. Two, two and a half stars, I believe it was, at, to be exact. Um, yeah, definitely not my favorite. So the next book I read, I actually um, picked this one up on the way back from Pennsylvania. It's The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This one's super cute. I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't really want to tell you too much, but I just tell you a little bit. It follows two twin sisters. One's very lucky and has a knack for getting either everything free or super cheap. And the other one is kind of unlucky, um, but the roles reverse when the whole wedding, everybody, guests and all, gets food poisoning. Um, so, so yeah, so the uh, other twin sister that did not get married has to go on this honeymoon and pretend to be married to her arch enemy, which is so much fun. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was super cute. It's a very quick read. It's just the right amount of steam to it. Super adorable. I highly recommend this one if you need a really cute, quick adult romance that's not full of smut. There you go. <laughs> Then the next one is A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is the, this is my alternative ju dust jacket from uh, the bookish box, I believe it was from. No, what was it from? Fay Crate. No, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but anyways, I love this book. Honestly, this was a reread for me and it's still a five star book. I'm starting to see a little bit more um, when, since I reread it, I see a couple of different things 
uh, that I didn't see when I first read it. I was so stuck on Feyre and Tamlin that I didn't really realize how much Rhysand risked his life to save Feyre. I have no idea what just happened, but apparently it's fine. Oh, I'm not crying, so. Anyways, um, so I absolutely love this book. I love being back in this world. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you like, like, Beauty and the Beast retellings, this one is, um, kind of a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but with a darker twist. Uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Although, I have to say, the second book is my favorite of the series, but I just, I have loved rereading it, and yeah, I can't wait to get into the second book. So, then I actually picked up two graphic novels. Um, the first one is Space Battle Lunchtime. Um, this is by Natalie Reese, I think it's how you say it. Um, this is super cute. Um, it takes place at a cooking competition in space. You like my little photo bomber back there? Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this is really cute. It follows um, an earthling who gets thrust into this uh, competition and has no idea what these ingredients are, these weird space ingredients, and she has to kind of like go through this whole battle on this cooking show. It's it's super cute. I absolutely loved it. Uh, the first one ended kind of on a cliffhanger, and I'm like, oh gosh, I need the second one now, right away. Um, so, super adorable. I love the graphics in it. Like, the graphics were so bright and colorful, and it was very easy to read and get into the story, and yeah, super cute. I love it. I think I gave this one four stars. Then the next graphic novel I read was Stranger Things, The Other Side. Um, this is by a bunch of different authors. Um, this one is actually, I thought it was like the first, uh, the first season kind of condensed into a graphic novel, but it is actually not. Um, this is kind of following Will when he's lost in The Other Side. Um, so it's kind of, it shows a little bit more backstory on how he actually survived it and like what he did and this and that. Um, although I really love Stranger Things and I really did enjoy seeing some of her, uh, his side of the story when he was in the underside. Um, but I didn't really think it was the greatest. I, it was kind of boring and it, it skipped a lot. Like there was so many gaps in like the timeline. Like it would go from one point and then all of a sudden it would jump to a next scene like nowhere near where the other scene took place. Um, so honestly, I didn't really think this one was that great. Um, I had, a, I didn't really, I shouldn't say I had a hard time reading it. It was just very boring and Honestly, I didn't think it was that that special. I really thought um, it would go into depth more about like some of the stuff that he's he went through. But it's kind of it kind of goes through like flashbacks too. Like it will be in the present, and then it'll go to when he's or it will be in the present, and then when he's back with his his friends. So I mean, it was okay. It wasn't it wasn't the greatest. I did like the graphics. I thought the graphics were really dark and ominous, which is kind of like what Stranger Things is. Um, but honestly, I didn't really think it was that great, remarkable, whatever you want to say. Um, so I believe I gave this one a three stars. Then the next two books I read in the Throne of Glass series. The first one is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. Actually, no, not the first one. The first one is Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series, I believe. I really enjoyed this one. Um, there was so much going on in this one, and there was some things that I didn't even see come in, and oh my gosh, that ending. <sighs> I may have cried a little in this one. Um, if you want to hear more in-depth thoughts, um, me and Jenna, who are 
uh, co well, I'm co-hosting, she's hosting the Massathon. We'll be having a live show soon once I get my computer back. I really, I'm sorry guys, I, I hate holding you guys up like this because I know you guys want to know our thoughts on the last Throne of Glass books, but I, my computer's been at the company getting fixed and right now I, I hate not having my computer. So I can't, we can't really live stream from our phone and I don't really have a tablet. Um, so unfortunately we've been having to wait with the live stream until I get my computer back, which really sucks. So we will be having a live stream. Um, so uh, watch our Instagrams for uh, more information on that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll post um, when we have it, have the date down and when we can actually do the live stream. But um, thank you, Luna. She just knocked over my whole pile of books. What are you doing? You're lucky you're cute. Anyways, um, so yeah, if you want to hear more of my thoughts, definitely um, watch our Instagram for the next live stream. But I definitely did love this one. Um, I believe I gave it a five stars because there was so much to this book. And I, I mean, there was like ups and downs and like twists and turns. And it was just like, oh my gosh, it was so good. It was honestly amazing. And then the next one is Tower of Dawn. And... This is what, six, the sixth book in the series. This one is actually from Kale and Nezrin's point of view. And um, after, I forget what book, but they end up going in a different direction from the main characters of the series. So we never knew what happened to them. And then um, this book came along. So this one kind of gives a little bit more of their story, which at first it was really slow and it did take me a while to get into it, but then once the story picked up and things were revealed in this book that wasn't revealed anywhere else in the series. So this story is definitely, um, you need to read it because there are things that are revealed in this book that you'll never know if you just skip over it. Um, I did really like reading from Kale Irene and Nezrin's point of view. Um, I think Kale grew so much in this book. Honestly, I never really hated him. I know a lot of people hate his character, but I never really saw why people hated him. I really think he had, um, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I really think he, he just needed to work on himself and I really think he, he grew in this book. And Irene character, Irene's character, I loved her. She's snarky, she's funny, she's sassy. Oh my gosh, I loved her so much. And then I really enjoyed getting to know Nezrin a little bit more um, in this story. So yeah, she she turned out to be another favorite character of mine. There's so many favorite characters in this series. Oh my God, like seriously. But um, yeah, if you wanna hear more in-depth thoughts on these books, definitely, uh, check out our live show when we have it because right now it's kind of up in the air but we will be having it so so yeah that was the last book i believe i gave this one a four stars because although i did enjoy it it was really slow and hard for me to get into so i just rambled on a whole lot i'm gonna pick up my books because i'm sad that they're on the floor i don't like that Anyways, so I'm going to share with you the one book I'm currently reading now. Um, well, I'm reading other books, but this is the one I'm trying to focus on the most. Um, and that is Truth With, uh, Truth Witch, excuse me, I can't talk these words. Um, Truth Witch by Susan Denard, 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 um, I'm not sure. But this one is, uh, it follows two witches, a thread witch and a truth witch. And a truth witch is a very rare w witch. Um, they, they're usually killed for their, their powers and stuff. So it follows these two witches and um, they kind of like go on a journey. And so far I'm enjoying it. I'm on chapter four, 41 pages into it. 
I think, however, I am going to try the audiobook for this because I am having a hard time pronouncing some of the words and I am not really good with English. You can tell by watching my videos, you know I'm not very good with English. It's just the way it is. So, um, I'm having a hard time pron pronouncing some of this stuff in here. So, I think what I'm going to do is try on audiobook and see if I can get into it that way. Because so far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, but a lot of the words are hard to pronounce. Oh my gosh, there's like so many different like like different towns and stuff and then the names it's like oh god like why why do authors do this to me um but yeah so this is the book i'm really focusing on because it's the book club pick for this month so yeah that's why i'm focusing on this one because we need to read it for book club so anyways um so that is all that i've recently read and i'm currently reading um let me know if you read any of these books let me know what you guys thought of any of them in the comments um i love chatting with you guys honestly this is one of the reasons why i do booktube is because i like chatting with you guys um so definitely hit me up and don't forget to like this video it really helps out my channel and uh subscribe if you're new here um and you'd like to see more videos from me um, and then please don't forget to follow me elsewhere. I'm mostly on Instagram. I'm not going to lie. I'm really thinking about deleting my Twitter because I don't even go on there. And every time I go on there, it's just like a whole bunch of drama and I hate it. It's like Facebook on Twitter and it's just, ugh, I don't like it. So I'm really thinking about deleting my Twitter. So if you really want to find me, I'm on Instagram more than I'm on Twitter. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, follow me elsewhere and that is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.